Okay, hello, Second Civics viewers. I'm looking like junk right now because I just woke up. But today we're actually going to do another Second Civics video. In this video, we're going to talk about funding and commissioning the graffiti wall. Wow! In this case, we're going to do a graffiti wall on a pre-existing structure so that we don't actually need as much money as we thought we initially needed. So... In order to use a pre-existing structure, especially pre-existing structure on public land, you need to get it approved by the city council or by the parks department. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to email the city. So the first thing that you need to do when you're trying to commission any project is you need to figure out who you need to contact. In this case, we're going to be contacting our, well, not the cultural council. We're going to be contacting the parks department. I already opened it. And, uh, the Parks Department has jurisdiction over all the parks, including the one in which we intend to commission the graffiti wall. So basically, we want to commission a more legal version of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to call email uh, the local Parks Department, the local government, as I said earlier. And we're going to try to get this on a public wall. And we want to try and filter out all of the bad graffiti. And we'll explain to you that plan right now. So in order to prevent illicit graffiti from appearing on our public graffiti wall, which is supposed to be kid friendly, we will have a small volunteer committee that will approve um, graffiti art. Basically, the artists will sketch a little drawing of what they're going to put on the graffiti wall, submit it to a group, and we'll just determine exclusively if it's appropriate or not. Then we will draw names out of a hat and to determine who gets to be on the graffiti wall. It's 2020, Frank. Who sketches stuff and mails it to people anymore? Art teachers. True, true, true. But I think that the graffiti artists should actually be able to text me and the team as well. Yes. Good idea. Let's do it. We actually need artists to do it. So if you are a graffiti artist or other form of street art artist and you want to express your art form in a public space, uh, email me at gallofgo509 at gmail.com or uh, email our social media account which is probably going to go up at some point in time. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make this back wall of a Splash Park attendant building into a, a street art mural. In fact, a while ago there actually was already a mural here, and I'm pretty sure it went well. How did it go, Owen? It went pretty well. So yeah, uh, and we also want to prevent things like this tiny bit of vandalism, which I can't show you because it's illicit. That's right here. 